Okay, okay, okay. I feel like I've waited all week just to get to this point because we have to lay groundwork and we have to understand um, those bottom precepts on precepts. He, he lays foundation, precepts upon precepts. So we're talking about the rod and staff, they comfort us. And so comfort, we read yesterday, to give strength and hope it cheers, gladdens, a lightness of mind and feeling, and cheers to instill with hope and courage to make glad and happy. And then the other portion of the word comfort means console, consolation. So your rod and staff comfort and console me. Console means to alleviate the grief or sense of loss or the trouble of, to alleviate the trouble of walking through the valley of the shadow of death. To alleviate the trouble of walking through the valley of the shadow of death. To alleviate the grief of walking through the valley of the shadow of death. To alleviate the sense of loss of walking through the valley of the shadow of death. His rod and staff comfort and console me, even though I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Alleviate. To alleviate means to make something more bearable. Isn't that good? To alleviate means to make it more bearable. And the other part of that is to partially remove or correct. This is so exciting, I can hardly stand it. To make it more bearable. So when we see the rod and the staff, when we recognize our shepherd, it alleviates, it lightens the load of walking through the valley of the shadow of death. It makes it bearable. His rod and his staff make it more bearable. And let's see, his rod and his staff partially remove or correct. Here's the thing that I really want to get into. So we still live in this fallen world, right? I mean, obviously, <laughs> we still deal with, as John 16, 33 says, in this life, you will have tribulations, trials, distresses, and frustrations, but be of good cheer, be confident, certain, and undaunted, for I have overcome the world. I have conquered it for you, and I have deprived it of power to harm you. And that, that is the partial removal. That is the alleviation, is that Jesus Christ himself, our good, good shepherd, has come and he has conquered death. He now holds the keys to death, hell, and the grave. And if we look in Matthew, let's go to Matthew. Come on, come on, Matthew. 28, 18. Jesus approached and breaking the silence said to them, all authority, all power of rule in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So Jesus Christ himself now partially removed. The partial remove is that he has defeated the enemy. Satan no longer has power over us. Once we have submitted our lives to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, we walk in his and under his power and authority. Mm, this is good. This is good. I'm going to take just a minute and dance. Okay, so Jesus said, all authority, power, and rule has been given unto me. Well, in Luke 10, he says, this is Luke 10, 19, behold, I have given you power and authority to do these things. He says, and um, I have given you physical and mental strength and ability over all the power that the enemy possesses and nothing shall in any way harm you. So see, our parameters and authority, the rod and the staff or scepter, that is when we walk in his 
parameters and authority, it comforts us because it alleviates, it lightens the load of walking here in the valley of the shadow of death at this low point between what was in the Garden of Eden and what will be um, after Jesus Christ comes, takes us, and sets up the new heaven and the new earth. Does that make sense? Does that excite you like it excites me? That that comforts us. And you know, he said, take my yoke upon you, for my yoke is, come to me, all you who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. It is a lifting, a lifting. It alleviates to relieves. It makes it more bearable for us to walk here. It it lessens the sense of loss, alleviates the sense of grief. It helps us and alleviates the trouble of living here on this earth. That is what the rod and the staff do. That is how it comforts us. That is how it cheers us. That is how it brings hope and strength to us. Last thing that I'll leave here is Psalm 94, uh, 14. It says, in the middle of my anxious thoughts within me. How many of you know that in this world, in this valley of the shadow of death, there can be such a pressing and like we've talked about the assault of temptation that the thoughts within us can be so anxious and we can begin to be so worried and we can be so concerned over things that are going on or things that may be going on or could possibly go on. But it says, in the multitude of my anxious thoughts within me, your comforts cheer and delight my soul. Comforts there is consolation and that is the alleviate that he alleviates the grief, sense of loss, or the trouble of your comforts cheer and delight my soul. Your alleviation, God, your consolation, you helping me, lifting the burden, bringing cheer, which is the lightness of mind. Isn't that just my goodness, we could go on with this forever and ever and ever. So I pray that today, as you go about your day, that in the middle of your anxious thoughts, the multitude of the anxious thoughts, that you would remember the parameters and authority of the Word of God. And as we know that we are walking in the parameters that He has set for us, that we are walking and He is guiding and He is leading us, and that He is ever so gently pulling us back in with His rod, and that the staff ensures authority. That if he has called us to walk and we're following his rod, then there is authority for us to be successful, pros prosperous, that we're going to do it victorious, and that we have strength and hope to make it through to the other side. Praise God. I'm going to see you later. <laughs> Bye.